Hi, this is Professor Park. Pot, we are at the final part where we're discussing the harvest. Yay, it's been a while, and it's best that you've waited. So people see that, but they grab it, right? I mean, I'll, smoke it. I'll just smoke a little bit of my plant, but then your plant's gone. Don't touch anything until it's ready. It is better to be late on your harvest than early. I think it's better to cure on the vine. Now, when do you think it's ready to harvest? There's several ways. When I was younger, we would look at the hairs. If the hairs were brown, if all the hairs on the plant were brown, that means it was ready to harvest. Nowadays, I'm looking at trichromes. This is a little meter, has a light on it, and with this little light, I can check out the trichromes. Trichromes are extended cells used to protect the green matter and seeds. They come up, it kind of looks like a water tower. Inside that little water tower is your THC, your CBDs, and CBN. If the fluid is amber and head bent at 45 degree angle, you're ready to harvest. Thing is, if the hair is being brown, the trichrome is bent and amber, it is the same time. Now, you don't have to harvest the whole plant at once. You can harvest sections of it. A lot of times I'll start on the top, let light go down to the bottom, and then harvest that. During the last couple of days of harvest, when I see it amber and hairs are ready, I take the plant and put them in complete darkness. Still alive, but complete darkness. It seems to scare the shit out of them, and they produce a lot more trichromes, because that is to protect the green matter, right? So once I have my plant, it comes out of the closet, I cut it and hang it upside down for 24 hours without removing any more leaves that I haven't already moved during the end of the season. Now, in this room, it is 70 degrees and 70% humidity. That way, it's a slow dry. Once the buds are on still on the limb and the limbs can just almost crack, I remove the buds because at this point, they're dry. If they're still a little wet, I like to put them on a screen, metal screen, and let them completely dry. When the outside of the bud is kind of feeling like a case, at this point, I transfer them to a curing jar back. A lot of people use curing jars like this. You fill it up about two-thirds of the way. In the beginning, every four hours, you open this, wipe the lid, and the top of the jar. That's removing any moisture. You're sweating out any moisture. After about three or four days of doing this, most all the moisture is gone. You don't see any moisture collected anymore. You close this. After about five days, open it again. Just make sure there's any moisture. Mold it will destroy your harvest. It's a terrible thing, and it's hard to get rid of that flavor and smell out of your plants. Another easier way of doing this is taking your dry plant, but hasn't been cured, and put it in a jar. I mean, a bag. The bag. Is the block so the bad air flows down to the bottom and goes through this bent straw to the vacuum. It's heavier in air, and by doing this, it's removing all the bad gases. Now, the curing process is when you're turning all the starches to sugars. If you don't cure the smoke, it'll taste good in, but the exhale, I say it's not very bad, not very good at all. So make sure you cure and dry. Curing takes six weeks. It makes it so much better. I mean, you'll notice that, that as the smoke gets older, it's a little stronger. Now you have all the smoke. How am I going to put it away? So one thing I do is seal the meal. This seals the bag, seals the smell and everything. Once I have this sealed, I put it away in a dark, cool area. I've, I've had my medicine last for about two years. 
After that, it's just not as strong because the trichromes on the outside of the, you know, the plant, not in it. Well, I hope you've had a wonderful harvest. If you have any questions, make sure to go to our website at www.s, as in sativa, acmsa.com. Peace and pot, and have fun gardening.